Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the Lord Sister channel. We talk about everything Fortnite creative related. Today we're going over the reboot van and everything it has in store for us. This was requested by a viewer. So this is our first video actually requested by a viewer, so that's sick. This is an updated video to one I did one year ago. So let's get right on into it. So you can find this device in your creative menu in your devices tab right here. You can search up reboot if i could spell it reboots there we go and there's our reboot van you could place it down resize it to however you would like you can make this reboot van huge wow that's big but we're just gonna go off this reboot van right here i was messing around with it earlier so we're just gonna reset the settings of that and let's get right into these settings go to the four lines up here our first setting here is on enable on game start we can have that on on if you turn that to off you will have to enable it manually in your functions tab when receiving from a channel. Next one here is recharge time. This is the amount of time it takes the reboot van to recharge after you re reboot the player. So you can set this to instant, which is zero seconds, or you can set this all the way up to 3,600 seconds, which is crazy. I don't know who would want to do that, but I'm going to set mine to five seconds just to show you. Next here is activating team and activating class. We have any and any for right now, but you could set this to any team up to 100 and any class up to 254, which I don't know why they decided to do that number for classes now, but there you go. <laughs> if you want 254, go right ahead. Next one here, after you say what team or class is activated, if any, um, you could do invert team selection and invert class selection. So say these settings are for if you have the activating team set to 1. And then you tick on this right here, invert team selection. That means everyone except for team 1 can activate this device. But if you set this to off, only team 1 can activate this device. And that's the exact same thing for the class and the invert class selection it will invert the class you have selected. Next one here is actually, I think this is this is a new one for the new seasons that come out, that came out, the Reboot Progress DK. So basically this is the DK, when you're in mid reboot and then you stop rebooting, it starts decaying. It doesn't instantly cancel everything, it starts decaying. So you can set this to a custom DK, instant reset, or battle royale. The Battle Royale and Instant Reset are already default settings, but if you do want it custom, then you it will open another setting right here named DK, DK Rate Multiplier, and you can set this to the multiplier of how fast it will DK. So if you set this to 0.1, it'll be very, very, very slow, but if you go all the way up to here and set it to 2, this will be very fast. So let me show you the DK on, uh, let's do 1.5, I'm going to show you the DK right here, and yeah, start the game. So right here I have my alt account, so if I take the shotgun and my teammate gets fully eliminated, I can pick up his reboot card right here, just like that, bring it over here to the reboot van, start rebooting the player, and then we're going to wait for this to go up a little bit, so... As it goes up and up and up and up, we're going to go to about right there when we look away and look back. See, the DK is going really fast. It's decaying very quickly. And then we can grab the reboot back again, just like that. Now, if we set that to instant, which is right here, if we set this to instant reset, that means as soon as you let go of the button for the reboot, As soon as you let go of it, it will instantly reset. So if I start rebooting here, and then say I take my hands off, it will instantly reset just like it did back in the day. This is the classic. And then, of course, the Battle Royale one is the default DK that you will get in any Battle Royale match. So that's DK. That's the new setting that they added. Uh, you can set yours to whatever you want. So I'm going to set mine to... Just one for now, which is... Actually, I'm assuming it's a Battle Royale, the normal one. Okay, after you have those settings completed, you can go to the Functions tab. There are only two functions for this device. It is Enable and Disable Settings. Pretty much simple. Enable on a channel, Disable on the channel. Pretty simple. Next one over here is Events. 
The net right here we have on recharge send event to and on rebooted send event to. So these events can be sent out from this device to other devices. So I'm actually going to show you how that works right here. So if I come over here, I'm going to do the same example that I did uh, one year ago. So type in HUD, HUD message, and we're going to use this device right here. We're actually going to use two of them. So we're going to go one, two. And we're going to configure the first one here. This isn't a video on the HUD message device, but if you do want to know how, how to use that device, it is right here up in the right in the I card. Click on that and you can learn how this device works. But for now, I'm just going to edit text and I'm going to put in first one is going to be reboot. Oh, no, no, no. A player has been rebooted just like that. And then save. And then message recipient, you can put this to whoever you want, put the all. But just to show you guys, I'm going to do just a couple settings over here. And we're going to put this in the center. And then as soon as we make it over to the functions, we can show this text when receiving from the reboot van on rebooted. So that means as soon as a player gets rebooted, it will send a message on the screen. And then as soon as we're actually going to copy this one over here. And then as soon as the reboot gets reset, the reboot van is ready for use. Cool. we we'll save that. And then we're going to come over here, show when receiving from reboot van, and then on recharge. Perfect. So basically what these two things are doing, as you can see right here in the settings, it will, on recharge, it will send out that the reboot van is ready to be used again. And right here on rebooted, it shows that the player has been rebooted. So we're going to test this out and I'm going to show you how this works in total. So once again, let's grab our weapon here. Here's my alt account. I promise this mean I can, me, I can swing my pickaxe and the pickaxe reaches so far for some reason. I don't know why, but if we eliminate him, pick up his reboot card, come on over here, reboot, and let's see what happens. And as soon as the player gets rebooted, boom, it will send out the channel. A player has been rebooting at the top of my screen. And then as soon as it recharges in five seconds, it will send out the other message. The reboot van is ready for use. And then, of course, we can do the same exact thing again. Boom, once again. Player rebooted. And then recharge. Reboot van is ready for use. Perfect. And now this guy is just gonna die. That's the end of his life. So that's basically it for the reboot van. The pros and cons about this device is the pros is that you can reboot anyone in your map. So if you're making like a battle royale game, that's very good for that. You can have a reboot van if you have different teams and stuff. You can reboot your players. Um, I'm so glad this is creative that we get to use stuff like this, which is amazing. The cons of this device is that you can't change the reboot card time, the expire time. I don't believe you can. And the other one is that you can't change the reboot speed, like how fast the player gets rebooted. Those are my only two cons, but that's pretty much it for the reboot van. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you do want to support the channel even further, you can use code PEEPER in the Fortnite item shop. That's PEEPER. P-E-E-P-E-R. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comments, or you can join the Discord for more help. I hope you did enjoy the video, and I will see you in the next one. A sister out.